Section 7.7 .7, Numerical Integration. In this section, we will look at the midpoint trapezoid Simpson rules, which are the numerical methods to approximate the integration. Also look at the absolute and relative error, errors in numerical integration. Because numerical methods do not produce the exact solution. So we're going to concern about the accuracy of the approximations, which leads to the idea of the absolute and the relative error, which will estimate the maximum size of the error. The absolute error can be computed by the absolute value of the difference of the numerical solution and the exact solution. The relative error is the error in the percent form, which tells you how many percent off from the exact solution when you get the numerical solution. And it can be computed by using the absolute error, which is numerical minus the exact divided by the exact solution or in the absolute value multiplied by 100%. For the midpoint rule, suppose f is defined and integrable on the interval a, b. a is the left n, b is the right n, and make it n equal subintervals. So the delta x for the width here is b minus a divided by n. And we look at each subinterval by using the midpoint of that subinterval. For example, the first one, the first midpoint, we use the notation x1 star, which is from x0 plus x1 divided by 2, form the rectangle. The height of this rectangle is the function, the function at x1 star. The area of this rectangle is the length times the width. And with n subintervals, we have sub uh, we have n rectangles. And we form the area by using the sum of all subintervals uh, rectangle here. So the area one, which is the height, which is the function at x1 star, multiplied by the width, which is delta x. A2, the area of the second rectangle, is the function at the second midpoint multiplied by the width and so forth until An, which is the function at the end midpoint multiplied by delta x. The sum of all areas is A equals A1 plus A2 all the way to An, which is the function at x at each midpoint multiplied by delta x, and all of them sharing the same delta x, factor delta x out, and then multiply by the sum of the function at each midpoint. So for the midpoint rule approximation, to the integral from point A to point B of the function f of x with respect to x can be used the formula as m for the midpoint, n as the number of the subintervals, as the sum or the summation of the function at each midpoint multiplied by the width, which is delta x, where delta x is b minus a over n. Next, the trapezoid rule. We call the trapezoid. It has the side x here, we use delta x, and the two parallel sides, y1, y2. The area is one half of the sum of the two sides, the parallels, multiplied by the delta x, which is another side. To use trapezoids to approximate the integration from point A to point B of the function f of x with respect to x, again, f is differentiable from point A to point B and make it n equal subintervals. Also, delta x is b minus a divided by n. Look at each subinterval. For each bar, it forms the trapezoid because we use the function at the left x value and the function at the right x value as a height. 
that parallel to each other to find the area, which is one half times the sum of the two sides of parallels multiplied by the delta x, which is the width. For each one, like for the a1, a1 would be the one half multiplied by the first left, which is y0 plus y1 multiplied by delta x. The next would be a2, which is one half of y1 plus y2 times delta x. a3, similar way, is one half times the sum of y2 and y3 multiplied by delta x, all n of them. So a n equals one half of y n minus one plus y n multiplied by delta x. So the sum of all areas is used to approximate the area under the graph, which is the integration of the function f from point a to point b with respect to x. So the a is a1 plus a2 plus a3, all n of them. And we see that a1, a2, and all of them has a common factor one half and delta x. And leave us y0 plus y1 from a1, y1 plus y2 from a2, y2 plus y3 from a3 all until a n, which is y n minus one plus y n. By looking at the sum of the y's in the parentheses, we can see that y one plus y one, that's the double, and then also y two plus y two. And all interior points will be, will be added twice. So we have the formula as one half delta x, the left end function value plus the right end function value plus twice of the sum of the interior point. So the interior point, if you have x0, x1, x2, all the way to xn, so the interior points, they are the points the x1, x2, x3, and to xn minus one. And the x0 is the left end. The xn is the right end point or the point A, point B. Therefore, the trapezoid approximation to the integral from point A to point B of the function f of x with respect to x using n equals space sub intervals on AB is Tn t from trapezoid n from n sub intervals equals one half times the function value of the first left end point or the first point or the, the left end point plus the sum of the function of the interior, interior point plus a half of the right end point function value and multiply by delta x or in another version, which is tn or the trapezoid rule approximation using n sub intervals equals delta x over two multiplied by the first function value or the function of the left end, the function of the right end, plus the sum of the function value of the interior points multiplied by two. The Simpson's rule. The midpoint in the trapezoid rule can be improved by approximating the graph of the F with the curve rather than the line segments. So this time we're gonna use the every three points that forms two sub interval. So for the Simpson's rule, we use two sub intervals at a time by using the graph that passing these three points, which is called a parabola graph, instead of using the line like the midpoint and the trapezoid method. So use the parabola to approximate as the parabola passing the three points of every two intervals. So this trapez this Simpson rule will give you the better approximation than the midpoint and the trapezoid. So the formula for this, you say S as Simpson and as a subinterval equals delta x over three multiplied by in the parentheses C 
Similar to the trapezoid rule, the left end function value, the right end function value plus four times the next function value plus two times the next one and then four and then two and then four is alternate from the coefficient one, four, two, four, two, four, two, until the one before the last and then the last is one. So it's alternate from four, two, four, two, four, two, until four. So the interior points, the coefficient will be in the pattern of starting with the coefficient four and then two and then four and then two and so forth. But the left end and the right end remains as a coefficient one. If the trapezoid uh, approximation Tn and T2n, n means n sub interval and T2n means 2n sub interval. Like by using these two approximations from the trapezoid method, using the n and the double size of the number of the n, the Simpson rules can be used those two as Sn equals four times the trapezoid using the two n sub intervals minus the T or the trapezoid approximation from using n divided by three. For example, if n equals four, the Simpson rule approximation using the four approximation using four sub intervals is the same as four times the trapezoid using eight sub interval minus the trapezoid using four sub interval divided by three. 